While our community was caught in the throes of March Madness, a remarkable group of JCPS middle school students quietly brought home a state title in a different type of competition. Ben Jackie brings us the details in this student spotlight. Well, there was no big parade or major celebration here at Mazik, despite the fact this is the Math Counts team's fourth straight state title, because for them, it's not about an award, it's about the experience. Numbers can be confining, even limiting, but these students prove solutions are not. What's wonderful about math is that you can be creative. You and Yuhan are the stars of the Mazik middle team that claimed a fourth straight state title in the Math Counts competition. And then the first round is a sprint round, which will have like 30 questions, and you get 40 minutes to do. And then there's a target round, a six minute, a two problem, six minute, and then there's four sets of them. And so, and, but that's with the calculator. And then there's a team round, as you might imagine, with any skill, it requires hours and hours of practice and repetition. In three years, the average Mazik Math Counts competitor will have worked about 4,000 problems in practice alone. But for Yuhan, even that is not enough. But he's like a sponge. He's continuously asked for additional materials. He wanted to study all the old tests. There's like 25 years of tests, some hundred and some tests. He's been through all that. He always wants extra textbooks, uh, extra material. Their drive isn't to fill a trophy case. It's about looking for creative ways to solve what has already been solved. When you have a beautiful solution to a problem, like you really start to like it, and it gets fun after a while. You can like enjoy the ways on like how to try, keep on trying to do and figure out more ways to do a problem. Prove that an irrational number raised to an irrational power could be a rational number. And then the reason I like that proof is because like, is it so creative? So like assume like square root of two to the square root of two, like you don't know whether it's rational or irrational. So like first of all, if it's like rational, then we're done. So if it's irrational, you can raise that to another square root of two because you know square root of two is rational. So the square root of two to the square root of two raised to the square root of two would be two squared, which would be two, that's why that's rational. And now you see why you finished first in the state math counts competition and is currently teaching himself algebra three. Yuhan finished fourth and hopes to one day create a theorem that will in his mind give him mathematic immortality. Because trophies are sedentary, great minds are not. They are constantly in motion, looking for the freedom and creativity of a new solution. I'm very proud of the kids. Uh, you can't work, uh, cannot work uh, three years with these kids and not really be uh, pleased as punch that they're succeeding. The Kentucky Math Counts team finished in the top half of the national competition and you finished in the top 15% of all national competitors. Three out of the four Kentucky team members were from JCPS schools, including one from No Middle. For our kids, I'm Ben Jackie.